I've been trying for over a year to learn how to pick this container locks, and I've had zero success. I mean, I've got the tools, the sparrows tools, the cheap Chinese tool. I stick the tool in there and twirl it around, and I can't feel anything. I can't feel any clicks. I can't tell if the uh, discs are turning or set or any of that. It's just been very, very frustrating. And, you know, I watched Picking Time's uh, tutorials on doing it, and it, that just was beyond me to follow what was going, and I couldn't understand you know, what they were explaining. So I just didn't know what to do. But I saw uh, Lock Chuck. He has this uh, beautiful 3D tool he has made for several of the lock supporters out there. And I said, I'll give it one more try. And I'll see if I can uh, learn anything using his picks. So he uh, very kindly uh, sent me a package and hopefully that's what's inside of it. And uh, we'll take a look at it in just a second, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, I've got, you know, what I consider, I guess, two cheap Chinese locks, which hopefully should be you know, not beyond my means to pick. He even brought uh, the Yabis Cutaway, this detainer lock, to uh, you know, see what I was doing and sticking the pick in there, but tell you the truth, it hasn't been much help at all. Even though I, I get them all lined up, the uh, sidebar doesn't fall down in there to unlock it, but it'll work with a key, but not with uh, a pick. So, don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I'll pick these away for now. And get out the package right here and open it up let's see maybe I have better luck with scissors than exacto knives as you've seen on my videos Something else. Looks like another vice. I wonder. Confused, but pleasantly confused. Well, this is the pick to figure out how all this goes. I'll look on people's videos and see how they assemble them. And see what this is.
Wow. both identical, no, one shorter, taller than the other. So this is another complete vice, different from the first one he, I got from him, which is this one here. has a tall neck on it, and it has a uh, sort of old type base to it, and this one is a lot smaller, and has a cloverleaf type base on it, which gives us stability in all directions, and this makes it so much easier to adjust this, so that is great, wow, I wouldn't expect it to that is brand new. Whoa. Ah. So here is the uh, distutainer pick. Looks like there are two of them. One gray, one orange. I've got uh, the, t uh, what do they call the Pick tips to go with these that I can use for my uh, sparrows kit, and I also made some from uh, ejector pins too. So I'll get all these together and give it a try out. But again, thank you so much, Lock Chuck. <laughs> you surprise me every single time. So I'm gonna have fun for a while on this and I'll give the uh, DD picking lessons another chance and hopefully I can do this before I don't uh, you know, expire <laughs> but thank you again